and I told God I had to try you this time. I'm tired to be on this mountain. I've been on this mountain for too long and you just have to do. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I trust you because I know you're going to do it. Hello viewers, hello children of God. Uh, welcome again to another episode of Inspiration Garage Group. Uh, thank you so much for always coming back to watch these messages. I don't take it for granted. I hope you're getting inspired. I hope God is lifting you. And I'm privileged to be here again to share the word of God. And today I'm going to do a very different video. Uh, if you're just joining us or if you just come across this beautiful channel, my name is Ruth. Here we share the word of God, we inspire and we motivate. So you're in the right space, you'll be looking for a channel to now reach your soul to motivate you. Then you are glad that God has led you here. So I encourage you to stay at the end of this message today. And if you haven't subscribed this message, there's a button down here. Just subscribe. This messages are free uh, to the glory and honor of God. So that anytime I upload a new video, always among the first people to be notified. So welcome again to the episode of Inspiration. Uh, today I have a very, very uh, inspiring video. I want to share uh, how God came through for me after I did three days of uh, fasting. And I hope this message or this story is going to inspire someone uh, who is trusting God for fasting or who is holding on God. I know right now someone might be fasting. Someone is planning to fast. I encourage you to go ahead and listen to the voice of God. I know I'm used to talking, talking too much, eh? but that's going to be kind of a very short video. Uh -huh. Start of this year, uh, January 2022, I started a project and that project was a beautiful project. And at some point, the project got stagnant. And the project, was just there nothing was moving uh, I've done fasting before I fasted before I remember me sharing on this platform how I did 21 days of prayer and fasting and God came through for me if you have not watched that video I'm going to tag that video somewhere here uh, the power of prayer and fasting power of 21 days of fasting and God came through for me and I decided to do fasting this year again, 21 days of prayer and fasting, but I was not able to do that fasting because I was breastfeeding. My, my younger son was still breastfeeding, so I was not able to, to do the uh, 21 days of prayer and fasting. But I knew God was going, was going to create for me sometimes during the year for me to be able to fast, because fasting has become a lifestyle, and I thank God. So come January, this project I started and this project got stagnant. So nothing was moving on this project. And I'm here to justify what God did for me. After I decided to go on a three days fast, I prayed fasting. I call it Queen Esther fasting. But a disclaimer, I did not do a full Queen Esther fast. You don't know about Queen Esther fasting go read the book of esther i'm going i'm not going to go into details so esther fasted for three days uh no food no water and god i uh, did it for her god came through for her and you go and read that story so i did not do the full esther fasting but what i did i did um just no food no water but i used to break my fast at six in the evening so that's what I did so before I did the three days and fasting I asked God to give me wisdom because this mountain was not moving remember the word of God tells us that there's some mountains that cannot be moved without prayer and fasting so I clicked on to that word and I told God I had to try you this time I'm tired to be on this mountain I've been on this mountain for too long and you just have to do i don't know how you're going to do it but i trust you because i know you're going to do it 
So I decided to pray, but I wanted to do 21 days. That was the month of July. So remember January, February, March, April, May, June, July, nothing was happening. And I told God, I'm your servant, I serve you, and I'm tired to be on this mountain. I've been on this mat for so long, so I'm tired. You must do something. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know when, but I know I'm trusting you to move this mountain. So when I said I would do 21 days of prayer and fasting, something happened. My house help left us. So I was not able to go the stretch of 21 days because I was now the one to remain in the house to take care of my younger child. So I decided to do three, uh, uh, three days prayer and fasting to shorten it. I did not lose hope. And one thing I want to advise you, if you're planning to do uh, prayer and fasting, how many days you're scheduled, be intentional. Be intentional in the prayer and tell God exactly what you want. Because my God is faithful, he'll do exactly what you ask him to do. So I decided to do three marathon prayer and fasting. I stayed indoors. I was very intentional. I told God, I want you to move this mountain. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'm intentional in this prayer. So I used to take water later in the day and I have my phone, but I had my prayer request. So I used to pray over that prayer request and I denied myself food and just to focus on the word of God, to focus on the scriptures and just talk to God. Because he has told me his word is my father. He can do more exceedingly abundantly, more than I expect. And he tells me his word, try me and see if I not open the gates of heaven. So I decided to put God's word into practice. And I prayed. And I remember by the end of July, just immediately after I done uh, the three days fasting, I remember something says speaking in me and telling me that I'm a God of completion. If you are my follower and you follow me very well on this platform, the month of August was our month of completion. Why did I do that video? Voices were running into my head just after done three days of fasting. Voices were running, running in my head and telling me I'm a God of completion. I've completed it. So I wondered what God was trying to say because these voices were too loud and I could not resist these voices. And that's why I came on this platform and I shared that the month of August is our month of completion. And I had this conviction in my heart that God has done something. God has completed something. Remember, I had forgotten this one I was praying for. But these voices were so much loud and I knew God has done something. So until I did that video, I got relieved because I came here and I said our month of August is our month of completion. I bless the name of the Lord. Come the month of September, indeed God completed. Whatever I was trusting God for, this mountain was too long, this mountain was high, this mountain was irresistible, but God did it for me. God broke this mountain and God moved this mountain. Exactly what I asked God for to do for me. God sent death to help us my way and they moved this mountain. I thank God to be so unfair for me to just move on and continue my life and not recognize the hand of God in my life. The miracle that God did for me in the month of September because this mountain had weeds. It was so hard to move. But I thank God after the three days of fasting, praying and fasting, God did it for me. I bless the name of the Lord. So I'm here to encourage someone. You might have that mountain I had 
you might seem uh, to see that there's no way but God makes a way it's just you to take a step the word of God tells us that some mountains cannot be moved when Jesus was teaching his disciples that some mountains cannot be moved without prayer and fasting so you need to act and do an extraordinary thing you have never done and one of those extraordinary things is prayer and fasting pray fast deny yourself food and just hunger and thirsty for the word of God God is so faithful he'll answer your prayers that's what God did if you're trusting God for something if you have a mountain that's not moving in your life I don't know which kind of mountain you are holding on God is able try prayer and fasting don't just fast because if you fast that's hunger strike just pray and fast and tell God what you want be intentional and tell God exactly what you want when you're doing uh, the, the prayer and fasting depends on how many days you're taking some do 40 days, some do 21 days, some do 3 days depending on the strength and the energy and how the spirit has spoken to you so be very sensitive I thank God today I'm sharing this testimony and bless the name of the Lord God is so faithful God did it for me. God can also do it for you. There's nothing too hard for God. God is able to do more than we expect. So just trust God. Follow his ways. Follow his teachings. Hold on to the word of God. Remember God's promises over your life. Remind God that it's written. And God is faithful to do more exceedingly than you expect. I hope and trust that you have gotten something from this video. I hope this video has encouraged you. If you're planning to fast, if you're planning uh, to go before the Lord, not lose focus, just trust in God. I encourage you to go for it. Destinies have been changed on the altar of prayer and fasting. God has moved mountains. Extraordinary miracles have happened on the altar of prayer and fasting. So God knows what to want. So it's just you to go before the Lord boldly in prayer and fasting and tell God what you want and God will do it for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. May God bless you. May God enlighten you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so down below here. It's free and put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload these powerful encouraging messages you are among the first people to be notified and I'll see you next time in our next video until next time, goodbye